Hello, welcome to Beth Roars, where we look at your favourite singers to find out what makes them them. I love the cello. So beautiful. Keep you in the dark and so it all began. It's such a beautiful dark intro and I really love his clarity of tone. It's something that obviously comes really, really naturally to him and he isn't someone who always goes for the most technically correct singing but he has a great voice. He sounds great and he doesn't seem to have had many problems in terms of vocal health or anything like that. Some people are just super robust and he must be one of those people with a really robust voice. And of course, he writes some good tunes. Okay, so that is so 90s and so grungy. And instead of in, eh, completely changing those vowels, completely morphing them, in, again, changing the vowel halfway through as well is a really uh, kind of grungy 90s thing. He went for the E there. Look how loose his jaw is though, that's great. So even on that red E, he isn't going ready and closing ready. It really is opening his mouth. His jaw is really, really loose, really relaxed. You can see it's just kind of like got a life of its own. It's bouncing up and down. He isn't forcing anything, yet he's able to get that big space. His distortion is quite far back for distortion. Oh, it's interesting, he's not doing the high line. So these shouts are just the classic examples of saying that is not like technically correct. The R shouts, the R screams, the R a little bit pushed and that's kind of what gives it its energy sometimes and I'm loath to say that because of course as a vocal coach I want people to generally sing the healthiest way possible. However, there are healthy ways of making that sound but you can just get so involved in the performance and every, I mean, I've done that as a performer, just really pushed into things when I should have really put my vocal health first and, you know, that's what happens. I love the vocal flip. So, temporary, it's a temporary. He's kind of changing that vowel completely again. Now, he is so good at rhythm. Of course, he was the drummer for Nirvana, so he has no problem with getting all those rhythms in there. It's got that real kind of like driving force behind it, and he's using his voice very percussively. You could see and hear the drummer within him. I don't know, maybe it's all right.
an absolute roar. Inside, really run. I love all these little kind of yodels he's putting in here. He's got these throughout in little moments. They're not overdone, but they add such a beautiful little texture. In. Oh, look at them. Oh. Oh, back to the beautiful cello. I forgot about that. I love that. I love how he is absolutely this driving force with the kind of rhythmic guitar, the rhythm, um, drums, and the other singer, and then you've got that kind of oozy cello underneath it, so somber and foreboding as well, while you've still got this kind of rage on top of it. I mean, he just doesn't care, and that is like also what is so fantastic about this. Sometimes that just complete freedom is the most amazing thing to watch. And it's amazing when a singer can be that free of their voice that they're just like, ah! that beautiful noise. I didn't realize it was mixed in with it. I didn't know this was mixed in, but also that leads me to something else. I didn't actually know that Dave Grohl completely started Foo Fighters by himself. He like wrote the initial demos and played all the instruments on it. He's such an incredibly talented man. And then he also then got the rest of the band in after that first year of him writing everything himself. Absolute madness, a lot of time. I so wish I was cooler. Do you know what? Although it, you want to jump around and have fun to that, you can. It's so politically charged. It has such feelings of, as I say, foreboding and anger at everything that's going on. And I think a lot of people feel that. And that's why this music really resonates with a lot of people. Yeah. Now, what sort of no? A little bit of a British accent thing on here. <laughs> oh, man, I love Foo Fighters. It's so much 
beautiful energy behind that and that feeling of rebellion. Also, if you have not seen it, there is this beautiful clip of Dave Grohl and his daughter singing together. So go check that out on YouTube as well because it's really like heartwarming. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.